Y'all see the look on my face? I can't even do the intro right. Hey, y'all. Um, it's the CPA Scholar. Hope this video finds you blessed, safe, ho hopefully safe from people like this. Okay, so I had to come on here and talk about Jocelyn Hernandez. I just saw the um, fight after the Floyd uh, Mayweather and Irv Gotti the third fight that she had with Big Lex. First of all, I'm not going to lie. I have a love-hate relationship with Jocelyn Hernandez. If you haven't, I have a playlist. If you go back on one of my old playlists, you can see where I said she was a damn menace to society, but I could see that she tried to come up and everything. I just saw her on Drink Champs, and when she was talking, I was like, this is the worst. They done gave a gutter snipe some money. They done gave a gutter snipe <laughs> some money and a wig and and and... Oh my God. And I knew in Noriega and them was acting like it was normal. She seemed out of sorts. She seemed like she on that cocaina. Like she seems just a hot, just, just a mess. So I was like, okay. She said she cleaned herself up and she goes into the black spaces. Cause we, we think um the uh, unmelanated people might think she's not classy, but we think she classy over here. Who, who thinks you classy? Who, who are these people are you talking about? Other hood rats? I'm confused. Anyways, I watched the whole drink champs on her because it's something about her accent, something about the way she moved. It's like, and she's a beautiful woman. She's gotten even more beautiful over the years. Because I ain't going to lie, when she first came out in that Rihanna wig she used to wear, I was like, I don't know. It was a little bit of, it was a little bit of, it was a little bit of, I don't know. But anyway, so I was like, okay, something told me this weekend I was looking for something to do. And I said, hmm. They have that Floyd, Floyd Mayweather uh, and Irv Gotti fight here in, in the area. So I said, I might fall through. But then I went and looked. And I saw that um, Krishan Rock and Blueface is performing. That's when I knew it was going to be Super Saiyan gutter snipe in that area. And then when they said um, Jocelyn Hernandez was going to perform, I was like, bruh, this is about to be good. And then it was sponsored by Zeus. Um, quiet as it's kept, I had the Zeus app to watch, uh, the new, ch the, the Chance dating show. And I was watching it, but after a while, the way he was talking to the black women on there, it's obviously that he prefers preferences. And he would say the most disgusting things, and those women still acted like they want to get with him. And it was so gross, I couldn't take it. it uh, a few of the shows, anyways, the whole thing was so low, low vibrational that I just had to cancel the whole thing. I said, my spirit feel bad after watching this crap. When you can literally feel your spirit go left when you're watching some content. And I used to watch a Bad Girls Club. This, this was that low. This was that low class. And I'm, I'm not about respectability, but this is just pure trash. But either way, I went, I said, I'm, I said, I'm gonna go. Then I said, oh, this is gonna be bad. So your girl was minding her business this weekend, hanging with my little peoples, went to the beach. I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, and I'm so glad I did. But baby, when I came back to Beyonce's slash Al Gore's internet and saw this fight. First of all, there's a man recording the fight. Um, and he's giving like the best commentary. He sound like somebody old drunk uncle. Y'all stop it now. They're killing that girl. Oh my goodness. Stop it, Jocelyn, baby. Nobody is stopping this damn man in a dress, a pit bull in a skirt. Nobody is stopping that. Either that was fake or everybody's scared of Jocelyn. Hell, maybe I need to be scared because she might come and get me, but I would not let her touch me. And if she did dare touch me, I would sue her ass back to that island she came from. I'm from an island too, bitch. And we at crazy tubes. I would, like I said, I would, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna hold it together. I'm gonna be classy and I'm gonna sue the shit out of your ass. That's what I would do. But either way, watching the fight, the way they snatched that lady wig off and everybody was, I mean, it literally made you feel bad in your spirit. And then her husband, first of all, I think both of their asses on that powder, both on that powder. And he liked to fight women. So he's suspect. Yeah, I said it. He's suspect. He liked to fight women. But she had her husband. She had studs. She had a butcher. She had a picker. She had a candle mix, um, stick maker all jumping this girl. And everybody was acting like they were holding her back, but they really weren't holding her back, which I really feel sick even watching this whole thing. You know, you see everything on Twitter. So I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm like, the girl top done fell off. She's walking with her wig is ripped off. Reminded me of when them girls used to fight in high school. 
one of my cousins, you know who you are. I used to love to take your shirt off to fight a chick. We used to call you the dude of the family. We, you know who you are. She real classy and feminine now anyways. But anyways, I'm like, jo like they literally let Jocelyn drag this girl. And then she put her in a chokehold. What if that girl would have passed away? First of all, I thought they was going to take this. Apparently, they're taping the show. And I thought they were going to take away the show. The last time her and her suspect behind her husband jumped a lady. And I'm starting to think she's um letting he's letting them jump. They're jumping those ladies because he's fooling with all them girls on that dusty behind show. Uh, shout out to Storm Monroe. He said they were auditioning some girls and they were so dusty and rusty and dirty that the whole place, after they finished performing, the whole place smelled like a fish market. Lord, I said, Lord, nobody roasts like <laughs> Storm Monroe. But either way, yeah, I'm like, I could believe it because them people look really mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And then on top of that, Nobody can convince me any other way. Jocelyn Hernandez, I got to say allegedly, because I don't know this lady in real life. I I, I think she hates women. I personally feel like she hates women. And I think it's, it's some issues she has with her. She has mommy issues. Then on top of that, I'm convinced she's a pimp. Y'all went and put a pimp. I don't know if you ever used to watch Pimp Up, Pose Down on HBO. I used to watch. That is a whole female pimp that you guys put on Zeus. And y'all keep putting on her on there and letting her show her strong hand on these women she don't that's why she's that's why she smashes women she she likes them for nookie they said she smashed mimi and she remember she was like mimi oh yeah i smashed mimi and that goodie box was good no she's a whole dude in a dress she just so happened to have that fake booty and in or that booty and her stuff together so y'all think it's cute she just went and stripped went out there and stripped time myself this is the first time she's um stripped when she wasn't on on that on that powder Girl, you still on that powder. Stop lying. I saw you on Drink Champs. You barely could drink your drink because you're on that powder. Get help. Get help. But I think they, they probably going to end up taking that lady. When you think that they could take Bonnie Bella away so that uh, and give to Stevie of all people, like Stevie's any better. You could tell she loves her daughter, but something is not. You need to go sit down with your daughter, Jocelyn. Go sit down. Would you want your. I dog walk that hoe. I dog walk that bee. I dog walk. I, I black. Me black. You you weren't black before. You remember you was calling black women roaches and saying all this other crazy stuff when you were on Love and Hip Hop calling Mimi Molly the maid because you felt like because you, you had a, black, a accent, you was a preference. G girl, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm disgusted. I'm grossed out. I, why am I here? How did I see this? It's in my spirit. I don't even know what to do. But anyways, like I said, Jocelyn is a glorified pimp. Yes, I... Only thing I she wasn't wrong on, I don't think she was wrong for fighting Amber Rose. Because Amber Rose brought her bald-headed ass over there to run up on her. So, I'm not mad at that. But, oh, what else? What made me laugh was the girl who threw the drink on her and then ran for her life. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing. But that girl threw a drink and ran. Woo. That dog going to bite you, bite you, boy. That dog going to bite you. But... I'm so glad I didn't go to that fight. Oh my God, because I would have been innocent by saying like, oh, 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 the, the tackiness of it all. The gutter snipes overwhelm me. But but I will watch it on TV, right? No, but seriously, I could not watch. I literally had to cancel Zeus because it was that trashy. Jocelyn and her husband i barely i thought she was gonna act right they were making music do it like it's your big day baby she you know she was like i thought they was gonna calm her down no it's a big hell no he worse than her i'm pretty sure he's smashing all those girls and she's letting them they both smashing them together and they beating them down to keep them in line anyways what you think about this that fight was, was hurtful seeing somebody jumped and beat down like that um with nobody nobody helped her even the dude who was recording was like who you came here with? Who you? Oh my God! Can anybody help this, girl? sir? You recorded. You ain't help her either. You ought to be shamed, your damn self. All right, I had to get on here and talk about this. Let me get back to my real life. Minus the fights, I'm too old to fight. I will. You will get served them papers if you bring your behind over here with that foolishness. With that being being said, please love who loves you. May God bless you with everything you need. And the CPS scholars out. Thank God I didn't go to that trash ass fight. Bye, y'all.